going to be playing each other in the tournament until last week. You best believe people made rearrangements in their job. They borrowed, they big, they stole, they did whatever they could. Dressed in red, dressed in blue, they were in Indianapolis last night. And I know people who say, oh, I'm broke. Really? I'm looking at Facebook, and you sitting there in Lucas Oil Stadium, and you talk about how broke you are. You are a liar, excuse me, but you are a liar. You're not broke. You just rearrange funds to do what you want to do. So if you really want to complete this book, you really want to finish this book, you will be up night and day. You will be researching night and day. You will not, you'll be bugging Renee, you'll be emailing her, you'll be texting her. You, she will, you will almost turn into a book publishing stalker <laughs> to all of us before you leave, if you're really serious. Mm -hmm. If you really, because people say, oh, if you just say you want to do it, and you never do take any steps, you have today, thank you. But from here forward, if you don't take any more steps to publish your book, you're in fantasy. That's not a dream, that's not a desire, that's a fantasy. And you can tell, I've had a lot of dealings with authors lately who've gotten on my nerves. Right, you sound a little frustrated. Oh, I want to do, oh! No, you don't. Because if you really want to, you will do it. No excuses. This is a business, this is an industry. You are now, to be a published author, you are now in business. You never thought you wanted to own a business. You never thought you were going to be in business. You are an entrepreneur. Say that. I am, I am an, entrepreneur. an entrepreneur. I do I have my own, have my own business. business. Period. <laughs> Say it to yourself every day. Write it down every day. And believe it. And do it. Because whether you're selling books in Barnes & Noble, whether you're selling books out of the trunk of your car, like I have done for the last six to ten years, you are an entrepreneur. You will be a published author once you have your book in your hand. Okay? So when you change your mind, you change your life. This is a business. Okay? So therefore, when you're thinking about, oh, go tell everybody. Call a family meeting. Whatever you have to do and say, I'm going to finish this book. And these are the changes we have to make in our life. These are the changes that you, and you're going to live in this household because we have an entrepreneur house, is going to have to change for us to get this job done. Okay? Because if you're really serious, you will do that. That's just from the publisher's perspective. You, at the storyteller as a communicator, can you, in 30 seconds or less, as Sylvia says, Say your vision statement, say your mission statement. Julia Royston Enterprises is a training company. Teach, train, transform your life. That's my vision straight up. Yeah. BK Royston Publishing is entertain, educate, and empower. Yeah. So can you tell, practice that. Get it in the mirror. Determine what the message of your book is going to be. What do you want to communicate to others? no matter what it is, whether it's a popular one or it's not. Um, whether it's a popular, and I have done that too, gone on Google and found out what the top five, but I don't write that. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't write in that genre. But what you're passionate about writing will sell because you are the fire behind that motive. You're the motivating force. You're the fire behind moving that book. One of the main reasons why I have books like I have, I also sing. So every time I sing somewhere, I have my books with me. It goes all 